So this is how you finish with this really fun encapsulator. What you need to do is just use this little card. The, all of these things come with the kit when you buy it. And this is really fabulous. Just get all of the powder into the capsules. This is a tampering tool. And the tampering tool helps you to stamp a little bit more compact version of the powder into here. I had to make some more powder. We'd only had a full tablespoon. Now we have a total of four tablespoons to fill. This has 24 capsules. And we'll see if that's enough of our mixture. Um, while I'm doing this, let me tell you about Emu Calm. Emu Calm, which is 50% marshmallow, 50% astragalus, which is what we're doing, is really helpful in emergency situations for allergic reactions, for asthma attacks, for um, allergies in general. I took this for a whole year, every single day, to help get rid of some food intolerances that I had. One of them was a gluten intolerance. I didn't have celiacs, but you know I could have gotten there if I hadn't reversed it real fast. And so um, I remember going on a candida diet and I also use Immucalm every day and I used a whole bunch of other things, but the immunocom is very helpful. I also had autoimmune problems um, due to a Lyme disease and infection I've had. And the autoimmune disease, they were looking at lupus as the problem that I was developing. Lupus is not fun. So immucom actually helps to calm down that immune system and it boosts it against bacteria but calms it down against autoimmune um, disruption, you know, like attacks. It stop, helps your body stop attacking itself for things. So that's what these capsules are for. And a standard tonic dose with anything that's like this is just two capsules three times a day or six capsules a day. Uh, there's other special formulas that will not be a six capsule a day, it'll be more like a four capsule a day. Some of them are even more, like uh, your vitamin mixes would be more. But in general, this is how you do it. These are size zero capsules, and it's a size zero encapsulator. And you'll have to do the math accordingly if you have anything else. This side I don't tamper, meaning I don't stamp it down or compact it, but I do put some in there, and the next step here, now that I have this in there tight, is to get out the excess, and now we get to put them together. Okay, this is the fun part, because this like makes 24 capsules really fast. It's amazing. You just put them together. Squish this side down. I'm just pressing down, and now I take to remove this side. I push this one down, and it pushes the top capsules into those bottom capsules. And then you release it. And voila! All of your capsules are done. And you just put them here. Um, put them in a baggie, put them in, I don't know, something um, that you want to store them in. Check that out! Look at all those capsules, like instantly. And if any of them didn't encapsulate right, it's probably because your capsules are starting to bulge. And there is a little, um, it, it's like one of those OxyPack things, it's, it's one of those moisture absorbers. It comes with the kit and you're supposed to put the moisture absorber oh, here it is, right into your capsules. And this will help them to not grow and get bigger and get stuck in this so that they stay the size that they're supposed to. Keeping it away from moisture and extra air and things like that will help them not get brittle as well. But there you go. Voila. That's how you make capsules. 
Okay, we're gonna make the quick colon chelator. This is an amazing formula, and it's modified from Dr. Christopher's quick colon cleanse too. What it's used for is to chelate or to clean out your intestines, and I like to use it for um, when you have over acidity and you're trying to get, you know, all the toxins to come out very quickly. I also teach that uh, if there's radiation exposure, the charcoal and the other things in this are really good for pulling all of that extra stuff out. It also has diatomaceous earth in it. And diatomaceous earth helps to get rid of parasites and things like that. Uh, there was a gal who used this Quick Colon Cleanse 2 formula and she used the Quick Colon 1 formula. Not even the stuff that has, uh, not even my formula. It was like the Dr. Christopher formula and doesn't have that to make sure. And she was trying to get pregnant and could not. And after one month of cleansing on this stuff, her body was ready to conceive and she did. And that little boy is about two years old, which is really fun. So it's great to know success stories about this. Um, I know many people, some of the, them have had their lives completely revived uh, when they're on their deathbed with this formula as well. And it's all about quick chelating out the junk. So how do you make it? Well, do you remember we were talking about parts? You can use any kind of measurement you want. And when I found this in my drawer, I thought, I wonder if this is like a tablespoon or two tablespoons or and then I thought it doesn't really matter. This is my part that I'm choosing. This is my measuring device. Now if you are in a situation, let's say it's more of a survival type situation, you got to figure out what to use that's around your house or let's say around the woods and you construct something and you don't know how much a tablespoon is, but you know how much a part is. You can make something and make that your standard part that you use. So I'm gonna make the quick colon key later according to this measuring device, and this is my little part. So it takes four of our first ingredient. This is apple pectin powder. Apple pectin is amazing. Just use by itself a teaspoon um, in some water every day. Even uh, this is safe during pregnancy, which you've noticed I'm nine months pregnant, so I'm very interested in in maternity um, alternatives. You could just use the apple pectin and use a teaspoon a day for a mild sort of a um, toxin cleanser. Um, the recipe is four parts of this, so we put in one. That's two. and here's our fourth one that works that's four parts right the next one is your flaxseed and that one is four parts as well this is flaxseed already in a powder it's ground up and it's lovely stuff for the colon it helps to sweep it out that's two and three, and there is four. Your next one is psyllium seed. This one's only two parts. So there you go. You have your part three measured. It's just one and two. Notice that the psyllium seed is also in a powder. Going back to the basics of um, herbal preparations, you need to make sure that everything you're using is in the same form as far as the herbs go. You're not going to put like slippery elm bark in here. You're going to put the powder. This is slippery elm powder is the next one. And it is one and two. Two scoops for that one or two parts. The next one, see how fast and easy this is? The next one is your marshmallow root. By the way, marshmallow is one of those things where it is a substitute for slippery elm. Um, so if you don't have any slippery elm, I suppose you could put four parts of marshmallow root in there. 
Flip around has some extra properties that are very desirable in this formula though. So if you can use both, that would be great. But just two parts of this marshmallow root powder. So everything is in a powder form, and that's what I'm getting at. Make sure that all your herbs are in the same form. Otherwise, you ain't going to be able to chuck this down. <laughs> it's just not going to work. This is a fennel seed, and it's already in a powder. So there's your powder. And it's just one part of fennel seed. That makes the tummy really happy, fennel seed. It likes fennel. Used in the Indian, the East Indian culture. This is plantain. Plantain is fabulous. It's an antisepsis and uh, a drying agent for toxins. Don't miss out on having this one in there. You definitely want the plantain in there. Um, and then many of you may already be familiar with Redmond clay. This is also a bentonite clay. So we've got one part of that and one part of activated charcoal. And then we have our basic quick colon two formula. Oh yes, just one of that and one of the charcoal. Then you're gonna mix this up. Then I'll tell you how to add the diatomaceous earth afterwards. Charcoal, one part. And we'll be right back. Okay, so we have right here the quick colon two formula. Um, not the exact same as the Dr. Christopher's, but it is close enough and it works very, very well. Now, my formula, the full keyliter formula, will require that you put diatomaceous earth in it as well. Some people like to keep that separate. So what would you do? You would, the dose on this is one teaspoon three times a day. So three teaspoons a day, or a tablespoon a day, but it's divided into three. Look how nice that mixes up. And it's just this really cool charcoal formula. How are you going to take it? Um, well, it's not quite. Okay, so the way that you take it is that one teaspoon is kind of chalky. It doesn't taste that great. Um, it's a great thing to mix into some juice, and it's even better if it's freshly juiced. I like to put in a freshly juiced apple um, that I've juiced in my own juicer, and you just need four ounces of the juice. Mixy, 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 chuggy, chuggy, chuggy. <laughs> And you've got it down but keep in mind there's a lot of things that are in here that <laughs> they draw the water out of your body so you've got to drink 16 ounces about this size 16 ounces of extra water after you put your teaspoon into your four ounces and that's three times a day so you're getting a full tablespoon of this now my formula adds in diatomaceous earth because there are some important properties about that. So as you see right here, we're right at that level. I'm just going to get a similar jar and put some diatomaceous earth in there. And for your dosages, there are two options. One, you can keep them separate. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Let's put some back. It's okay, you can estimate this one. It doesn't have to be exact, right? Okay, so that one, that's pretty good. This is your diatomaceous earth. You would then take one teaspoon of this and one teaspoon of this and put it in your four ounces, if that makes sense. And then drink down your 16 ounces of water and you do that three times a day. So you get a full tablespoon of this and tablespoon of this in a day. I'm one of those people who I just, I don't know, I, just, I, I like things to be pre-mixed already. And so I'm going to mix these together. I'm just going to go get a uh, Ziploc bag so we can label it. All right. So what you need to do is put today's date on there. Uh, this stuff stores for like 10 years, so it's, <laughs> it's fine, especially if it's um, sealed up. But uh, or if you keep it away from moisture. So we're just going to put quick colon chelator on it. This recipe comes with the student's 
workbooks as well, and all the directions are in there. So to finish how to make this, there we go. Bottle number one, dice dice dessert. Bottle number two, quick colon two formula. Mixy, mixy, mixy again. <laughs> and then figure out the math on this. How much of this combined product would you take for your doses? Well, that's obvious. It would just be two teaspoons, three times a day. And then you get your full dose. This will clean you out, help you out, and then it revives a lot of people. Great stuff. Now we're going to make homemade electrolytes. This is really cool. You can just put them in little bags, shake them up, and then stick these in your first aid kits, your 72 hour kits, or whatever. The basis of it is your salt, especially if it's going to be Redmond Real Salt. I really like this company. Redmond Real Salt has a product that you know has all of its minerals and things in there. And so when you have when you have Redmond Real Salt, if you just had that, that's a sufficient enough electrolyte. Why? If you look at Dr. Young, Dr. Robert Young's research, he's shown that on the periodic table, your body can brilliantly take one thing, NaCl, and then go up the periodic table and just add one more electron or ion to it, and it makes the next electrolyte. And then, if you take that one and add another, then it makes the next electrolyte. So, if your blood is well oxygenated, you have lots of electrons from lots of plants that you've eaten, and you have just salt, guess what? That could be sufficient for a basic electrolyte. And it'll keep you out of emergency situations. But the World Health Organization has a better, really quick balancer it also includes some sugar, so it's kind of like a Pedialyte formula. So what is it? You can take Redmond Real Salt, and they have theirs in uh, metric units, so I put this into our more Americanized units. You can just take a half of a teaspoon of Redmond Real Salt, put it into there. The next kind of salt is really cool. This is called New Salt. It's a potassium chloride. And potassium chloride gives you the potassium that's needed. So same amount, you're just looking at half of a teaspoon. Potassium chloride is a type of salt that tastes a little bit on the salty side, so those who need to lower salt in their diet, they use it. And this is available at health food stores, or you can buy it just online. Really cool stuff. The next one is baking soda. Did you know that they put aluminum in a lot of the baking sodas that are out there? <laughs> Buy the aluminum free stuff. I've noticed that the Bob's Red Mill is aluminum free. Um, and so you're just using a half a teaspoon. What is baking soda? It's sodium bicarbonate. It um, helps to alkalize and it helps to create some of your other electrolytes. Now, um, not only for flavor, but also for trying to get the body to revive and get some glucose into the system. The World Health Organization's recipe is two tablespoons of this whole food sugar. This is a half tablespoon. So to get two tablespoons, I've just got to put two of those in there. And normally I'd put another tablespoon in, but I've modified the recipe just a tick. So those who have the workbook, I guess you can pencil in this modification. Or you can put the um, sucanate in there. First of all, what's sucanate? I forgot to tell you what sucanate is. You can either go out and get processed white sugar, or you can get the processed white sugar that has the molasses mixed back in, which we call brown sugar. All very, very acidifying to the blood. Or you can get sucanate, which is still somewhat acidifying to the blood, but a lot less. 
It has never been processed. It's never been separated from the natural molasses and the other minerals that are in it. It's just a better choice. And it'll turn out really dark because it's very rich in minerals. And those minerals are needed. So, you ever heard of emergency? It's the you know, electrolyte stuff that you find. Um, it is made with vitamin C as well, and I like the idea add, of adding vitamin C into there. This happens to be a tart cherry crystals with yum berry vitamin C powder. <laughs> it's one of them that I chose. So you can get any vitamin C powder out there. And you can actually substitute one of those tablespoons of the succinate for a tablespoon of this yum berry stuff. Then it gives it a flavor and it's not so weird. <laughs> it's a little bit better. So you just shake, shake, shake that up. Make sure that you label it. And if you want the granules of the succinate to be even finer, put it in a high speed blender so that it will dissolve just a little bit faster for you and your water when you're out on a hike or when you're out at the pool and you're trying to rebalance your electrolytes. Just make sure that you're well hydrated and not only the water hydration that you need, but the electrolyte hydration that you need. And that's really good stuff. So you can put this in, I believe it's a liter of water. Yes. So I would add the directions and you just say add electrolyte mix to one liter of water. And there you go. Store it up and follow the directions. Simple as that.